Good morning. At least it's morning here in Chicago. I, when you see this video, and who knows what time it might be. But anyway, last night I had a wonderful opportunity to go to a fun event. Um, some friends of ours invited us to go. It was a, a black and white dinner dance. So you could wear black, you could wear white, or you could wear black and white. And I was also told that you could wear a gown or you could wear a cocktail dress. So since I could wear a cocktail dress, I thought I'm gonna pull out one of my favorites. This is a vintage piece that I purchased a number of years ago. I found it at um, just an antique store, which is becoming much more difficult to do these days. Uh, there was a time when you could find some great vintage pieces at an uh, antique store, but those days are kind of long gone, sadly. But, you know, every once in a while you get lucky, so keep your eyes open if you're out antiques, uh, in an antique store doing a little shopping. This dress was made in the 60s. It's just gorgeous. Everything about it is just gorgeous. And it's really just as pretty as today as it was the day it was made. The fabric is a wool sateen and wears like a dream. So I literally, I got, I sat, I ate, I moved around, came home, hung it up. That's it. Not a wrinkle in the thing, which is, you know, really, really, really nice. So um, here you can see just a little bit of design details on the dress. Uh, one of the reasons too that I wanted to wear this was because it does have the jacket and it's black and then also the lighting is black and white. So kind of a fun little extra touch, but I'm always cold and so, uh, and it was pretty chilly last night. So I thought, well, I'll have a jacket. So I'll feel a whole lot better. And, um, and I did, so I was glad I had the jacket. So the jacket, the, just rather simple, just a little boxy type of a jacket. But what I love is the little dart here that radiates from the center. So, you know, typically our dart would be here on the side. So it's just been rotated to the center and used as a design detail. So button loops, little tuxedo buttons. So I'll take the jacket off and show you so you can see it a little bit better. So there are the, the buttons. These buttons are done, these are not buttons that you could buy, they're not the buttons that you buy at the fabric store and do yourself. They're actually done on a machine. There are resources available so you can send buttons out and have them made so that they have a much more professional look. And here, now this, dress was designed by a woman named Katherine Scott, uh, but it was sold at Marshall Fields when we still had Marshall Fields. I think everybody in Chicago laments the fact that Marshall Fields is gone, the real Marshall Fields. Um, they had a store called the 28 Shop, and it was where you could buy just the most special things. It was wonderful, wonderful place. So you can see this jacket, it has this lovely silk lining. Um, one of the things that I thought was interesting was I was always taught to have at the center back to have a pleat, and what this one does, but that the pleat should be an inch wide. Um, and it's done just for when you move your shoulders for ease of movement. This one is just a very narrow little pleat, but you know, it's sufficient. You know, I don't find it to be cumbersome at all when I wear the jacket. Uh, the lining is sewn in on the machine, but what's nice is it's actually sewn in by hand. So the, you know, one of the things that we've been told to do in more recent years is just to bag the lining and sew it and then flip it out. Well, Things don't stay in place always as well as they should. So what happened with this one is the lining of the jacket is actually sewn down 
first and then the lining is sewn over it so everything stays and holds its shape very very nicely and the sleeves the same with the sleeves it has a hand stitched hand stitched down nice little pleat um, yeah about half inch half inch over so not a lot but you know remember this is a this is a three-quarter length sleeve so um, you know if it were a long sleeve you know there'd be a lot more pulling on the sleeve whenever you wear it but it, it's fine it works really well um, also has the little dart out of the shoulder which is nice it's a nice fit for the roundness of our backs so the dress it's just a lovely lovely little simple dress uh, the bodice it has a center front seam and the darts have been rotated to center front uh, but you can see there's no seam at the top it's just here at the bottom so everything was rotated here spread out so that you could have those starts there the um, what's interesting with the skirt is it has a center front seam it has a center back seam it does not have side seams and when we get in the inside of the dress you'll see how everything was so well thought out so that this dress could easily be altered which is so nice but it does have the seams here and let me just show you a fun little thing there are pockets yay <laughs> I love pockets in a dress uh, it's a nice place to hide a lipstick or a tissue um, so very nice so it has a like I said a waistline seam pleated all around no side seam just a narrow little pleat here at the side the pleats here are deeper the back does have a princess line seam which is really nice especially on a woman's back because uh, believe it or not the back is one of the prettiest areas of our bodies um, so it has this wonderful little line now I want to show you too uh, a design detail that I think is really quite nice is in the front the dress hits right at the bodice hits right at the waistline in the back it actually scoops down just a little and because the natural waist would be about here so at center back it's maybe three quarters of an inch below the waistline and it's just it just makes for a lovely line as it comes around to the back the zipper is hand-picked not something that you ever find today unless you do it yourself um, anyway it's just like I said just just such a pretty dress so I'll take it off and show you the inside move my friend out of the way pull up a chair um, so the inside of the dress I'll show you the center front seam first so that's the inside what it looks like on the inside so you see that the dress did not it, it has the lining has been treated as though it is an underlining the wool sateen let me put my glasses on helps me to see just a little bit better um, the wool sateen it has so much body to it that it really didn't require a um, underlining of its own so the this this and this is a, a lovely uh, silk lining it's on the inside so it but the way they they did it so the exterior fabric was actually laid over the lining and then the edges were pinked, stitched and pinked, so that it's all secure. Um, but as you can see, what would happen is if you did need to alter this, it would be easier to alter it the way this has been done. And then I want to show you here on the bodice as well that, you know, just a woman's body being what it is some of us are long-waisted some of us are short-waisted the bodice actually has 
a good inch and a half seam allowance on it. So the bodice could actually be lengthened or shortened, whatever the case may be. But what's interesting is the skirt only has, so the, here's the seam allowance on the skirt. So the skirt only has about a half inch seam allowance on it. Uh, one of the things that they did is they added this piece of ribbon, which helps to hold everything in place very nicely. It keeps your pleats and keeps, keeps the waistline from stretching. This is a really nice detail. Um, and I wanted to show you here on the side seam. So the side seams are, they are fairly wide. Um, maybe just a, a good inch wide the but like I said there was no side seam on the skirt but just this little pleat so in the event that if you wanted to take it up of course that's what we always hope for is that we always take things up rather than let things out um, if you wanted to take it up it would be easily done and then you could just make this little pleat a deeper pleat or in the event that you have to let it out uh, um, then just narrow the pleat down or take the pleat out altogether since you know whatever the case may be now one other thing I wanted to show you that they added remember I said the the back the waistline at the back actually dips down below the natural waistline so one of the things that really makes our clothes look lovely when we wear them is when it's they seem effortless where we don't touch them we don't it's as though we put it on and we forgot we even had anything on and a lot of times what will do that for us is what's inside the garment and thought was given to that with this dress as you can see there's a little piece of girl grain ribbon here there is a hook on this side so that so you can see that if I hold it out straight, it actually comes up above that dip in the waistline. And here on this side, I'll show you the other side of it. Sorry about that. Here's the other side with the hook on it. So before you zip up the dress, you would actually hook this, and then it just holds the dress right at your waistline. Very nice, keeps everything nicely in place. Now, like I said, the zipper is hand-picked, and what's interesting to me is, I know it's difficult to see, but the stitches are so tiny, and they literally, if they took a thread as they looped the thread over, that's about it. I mean, it's just so beautifully, beautifully done to where you barely even see the stitching. Um, so with the center back seam, so of course hand picked, and with the center back seam, you can see it's a wide seam allowance. The seam allowance was actually folded over and stitched, pressed over, and then the zipper was added. Now the facing, since the exterior fabric and the interior fabric are basically treated as one, the facings were sewn on and then laid over and it, they're stitched only, you can see only, to the lining and it's actually, I don't know if you can see that, but they're actually hand stitched down. All these lovely little things that I think are just great. <laughs> um, and another thing too is, you know, we've gotten a lot more relaxed today and we don't, we're not quite as um, horrified if our bra strap shows, but you know, it's still, when everything stays in place, it's really quite nice. And with this dress, you can see that there is a little bra strap loop here at the shoulder, which you know, you maybe wouldn't think about putting that in a dress. If you remember from the picture, the the, the shoulder actually it actually comes off the edge of the shoulder a little bit. So, you know, your bra you'd think your bra would 
stay in place. Well, just to make sure, the loop was added, and then there's this, just this tiny, tiny little snap. It's just, you know, one of those lovely little details that's in the shoulder. So I think that's about it, but I think it's rather fun to see. If you remember um, one of the first, or the first, uh, so busted material witness video I did with Brian Osborne, he talked about how much he likes to get a couture garment and do the alterations because then he gets to see exactly how it was made and it helps him to be a better dressmaker as well. So I think anytime you get the opportunity to look inside a garment that has been really well made, it's a lot of fun. Um, as far as the hem of this dress is concerned, I didn't show you that. I will show you the, the label. Catherine Scott, very pretty label. Um, the hem actually has been altered uh, where you can see that they've brought it up considerably. There is the original hem is, you can barely see it, but there is a little bit of, you get just a little glimpse of stitching and it's, I can see that it's been hemmed up a couple of times. So there's a, a little bit of a line right here where it was hemmed up once and then again hemmed up even more, make it a little bit shorter, a little more appropriate for the time. And on me, it hits pretty much right at my knee, so it's a great spot. So it's fine, fine for me. But uh, again, what's nice is the, the lining is stitched or the hem is stitched only to the lining. So on the outside of the garment, you see no line whatsoever, which is really nice. And of course, with um, wool or, you know, really just about anything that you press, um, cotton, you can get away with it, but you know, you should have a press cloth, press from the inside because you will get a mark on the outside. You'll get a It'll get shiny if you press it from the outside, but press it from the inside with a pressing cloth and everything will stay really quite nice. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave a question, leave a, leave a, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. But I hope you enjoyed taking a look inside my little cocktail suit. Um, it's, like I said, it's one that I absolutely love to wear and I think I love it even more just because it's so well made and um, it just looks lovely. And you know, when you think about that this is old, <laughs> old, it was, probably, it was made in the 60s, so, hmm, you know, it's uh, about 60 years old. Uh, and it still looks great, still looks wonderful, actually. I, I, I made a, a comment when I talked to Greg the other day at Fishman's about sewing with really nice fabrics and how sometimes they will, you know, they, they last so long, they, they sew so well, they, they make it just, every, the, the whole process is so nice and then they last for a long time as well. And I made the comment, maybe even longer than you want them to last, but you can see with this that it's just a lovely piece that it'll be in my wardrobe probably as long as I'm alive and go on to someone else, and which is really nice. So anyway, thanks for taking a look. I hope you found it interesting and I enjoyed having the opportunity to show it to you. Thanks so much. Bye.